What is up, YouTube? It is Stiller Sideline. We are back with another, uh, I guess you, this is the eBay pickup. Right? Well, it, it's all over the place. It is an eBay pickup that I was doing the video for, but this is a TSC pickup. I'm not sure if I even did a video for it. I know I did for other ones, but uh, it's going to be a pickup and uh, how I frame things, I guess, for on the cheap. So, uh, this was years ago. This is before I did the man cave over and all that. It was just bare bones up here. Um, I picked these up from TSC. These are, uh, framed unsigned photos. They have the red dot. They were on, uh, clearance. I want to say, I don't know if it was 50% or 75% off. I don't know. I want to say I got 25 bucks into this, maybe 20. I really don't know. Uh, really, and, and, and that's that's why I like this doesn't work all the time. It's just one of those rare occasions you see them. Sometimes uh, places will get rid of uh, frame photos cheap, and if you look at the framing, you want to use it. I mean, it works out. So uh, this is the photo that I got. So this is the unsigned photo. I obviously want a signed photo of uh, Ryan Shazier in here. Now this doesn't work all the time. Uh, looks like a, I just had to clean this off uh, before I even did the video it was covered in dirt, dirt or dust just for being up here on the floor for years uh, but that's, a, that's all I'm going to do I'm going to show you the pickup and then I'm going to show you how I frame it cheap so it's kind of like a two in one video uh, so how you frame something cheap, like I said, I was in TSC looking, I seen they had some of these on clearance, I bought about four or five of them, uh, I think it was close to Christmas time, or maybe after Christmas time, they were getting rid of some stuff, uh, uh, so I picked up this frame, if you would take an 8x10 photo, tell them, hey, I need to get a frame, you know, it's going to cost you, especially you double matted, and with a nameplate, it's going to cost you a little bit of money, now you don't want to put like a $500 autograph in here, because most likely they didn't, especially with unsigned photo. This is probably just regular glass. They didn't, uh, they didn't uh, bump up the UV glass. I'm sure for this. So, uh, so let's just take, get into this real quick. So I'm gonna show you how I'll sometimes frame things on the cheap. So we got this Ron Shazier framed eight by ten. And then we went on eBay. I've been watching his stuff on eBay for a while. Finally found one that I wanted to, and I've been, it's been a long time that I was doing this. It's just a trash pile there. Uh, you're gonna need, all you're gonna need for this video, preferably uh, a utility knife. I somehow took mine downstairs, misplaced it. So I had to just grab some scissors that are up here and some blue painters tape. That's all you're gonna need for this video if you're gonna do this. So we got them one side out. Oh, and I got a free photo. They gave me a free photo on top of that. So man, I'm getting getting lucky. So now which happens to be, check it out, same same photo they use for that. So I got a free photo because I was only supposed to get the uh, autographed. At first I thought they sent me the wrong one. I was like, uh oh. But so now I got a free Shazier photo. So if I ever have to do a signing, I got a free photo. Uh, so I got this off eBay. I want to say for like $29. That was where I was trying to find this one at. Asserted by TSC. So what you're going to do, you're going to look at this back. And you're gonna fill you can fill work right where this where everything's at and that's the edge of this that's the edge of this uh frame here where where it goes into the glass you're gonna take your utility knife hey, you won't be like me grab scissors but utility knife works a lot better you just gotta cut down the side and then all this peels back And then you get these little, just like you would on a normal frame, a little push, push on. I don't know if 
you want to call them pins or whatever they are. Things that hurt your fingernail. This is what I'd like to have for a... And I'm just going to go ahead and slice this whole thing off. I tape it back on. If you're, uh, if you're extra savvy, you could just throw a new piece over top of this. It's not that hard. But uh, I'm just going to take this off and I'll put it on at the end. And then we're just going to go through here, pop up. And these are going to be two. I'm about to hurt my thumb the whole time. These are going to be two. So now you got the cardboard out. This cardboard was like pressed into there. All oh, this is a piece of cardboard on the back. And then they tape these photos in here like this. So you just gotta take take the tape off. And you ain't gotta tape it like they do. It's a lot of tape. This is where the uh Utility knife comes in handy here. Going through here. This stuff's glued around the edges here. This definitely ain't gonna be the cleanest job I ever did. I'll tell you that right now. see the differences there sometimes they're easy sometimes they're not this has been the hardest one so far and part of it is I just ain't prepared I don't have my utility knife so I got a free chazier photo in here and if you ever this photo even though it looks terrible because of the tape and stuff on the side this is still a good photo you get him to sign in the middle here and all you gotta do is, when you frame it, just frame it to where the, the edges don't hit. So that's still a perfectly good photo. All right, so you wanna look at your uh, thing, as you can see. It's still good on the outside. That's all that matters. The back looks a little hacked up there. As you can see, TSC wanted $109. You know their prices sometimes are a little crazy. They wanted $109 for this photo signed. And all you're going to do is line it up exactly how the other one was. And once you got it lined up, where it's not showing anything, you're just going to tape it down. You don't have to tape it like they did. They had it all crazy. Take the corners. Big pieces. Take the corners. It ain't going nowhere. Check out the progress. Make sure you like it. And then you're just going to go ahead back into the frame. Back with this piece of cardboard. Make sure you have it the right way with the hook. So you don't have to do anything else. Put it in there. Push it back down. I mean, this is very simple. You just might not have ever thought about it. You push these pins back down. Little clamps, whatever you want to call them. I'll need a correct term for the framing on these, but it holds that cardboard tight, holds your picture tight, and you're good to go. I'll just 
put this black I'd do the same with this. Nothing crazy. It's up against the wall. You ain't never going to see the back of this. But there you go. Let me make sure it looks alright before I start showing you. Now you got yourself. Uh, double matted frame Ryan Shazier photo with the nameplate and it went from you know something just looking very simple to to that and then like I said you got that other one I, I ain't gonna grab it I already showed you once you already got that other photo if you want to get it signed all you gotta do is get it matted uh, and when you get that mat just cut it a, you know, half inch in and it covers up that tape mark and it'll look like a perfectly brand new 8x10 photo if you'll never see it with that matting around it so you still have a good photo with that now if it's a photo you really really like i wouldn't do it this way because it's gonna it's gonna mess up the edges unless you put the photo in and just taped it but the way they tape it and they put a little glue on the sides yeah it's gonna it's gonna mess it up that's why that tape and that glue is what gets it there uh, I don't know why they glue it down like that, but Ryan Shazier, how to frame a photo on the cheap, uh, cheaper than Michael's, cheaper than Hobby Lobby, cheaper than your local, uh, you know, your local thing, the only thing, your local framer, the only thing, like I said, they ain't, they're, they're not using UV, I'm sure, with these photos, because they weren't signed before, but with a $30 photo, I'm cool if it fades at some point, uh, this side and the paint pen. I'm not sure about the paint pen. I don't think paint's going to really fade too much. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I know the Sharpies do after a long time if they get stuck in that light. But let me know what you think. How to frame something on the cheap. Ryan Shazier, about 10 photo. Getting ready to go up on the wall. Hope you enjoyed this one. A little bit different here. A little pickup and a little, you know, show you how to frame things up. Or the cheap, you, 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 you might have had something like this just sitting in your house and you didn't know what to do with it, you know, and now you're into autograph photos. Now you can switch it up. You can take out that unsigned photo, put an autograph photo in there. It works with the 16 by 20s, any size frame, as long as you have the same size picture, it's going to work. That's all I got for you today, YouTube. Hope you enjoyed this one. As always, have a great one. Stiller Nation.